Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. Happy New Year to you. And before we get into the action for uh, NBA for January 9th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section to help you make all your picks. So let's get started with some of the action here. There are a lot of games scheduled, and we're going to take a look at five of the games. Starting with the San Antonio Spurs and the Brooklyn Nets. Brooklyn enters the game second in the Eastern Conference, and they host the Spurs. The Nets are average status. You can see that they have won their last game, and they are 1-3 over their last four, and 3-3 three and three over their last six. The Spurs are ice cold up, winners of their last game against uh, Boston, and they are 2-4 and four over their last six. The power ranking indicator shows here that Brooklyn is on a downward trend. They are at plus 17, while San Antonio is at plus 5. The score prediction shows that Brooklyn in a very narrow margin of win by 116 to 115 with 67% level of confidence. The consistency factor, how are they performing according to the third underdog status? You see that the Nets are at plus 10, while the Spurs are at plus 4. If you're looking at the over and under, you can see that San Antonio is three over and three under in their last six games. Same thing with Brooklyn. I would not consider the over under in this one then because of the discrepancy between the two. They have not been very consistent as far as the trend as over and under goes. So what I like in this one is I think the Nets are the better team. I think the Nets will win this one by probably a half dozen to double digit points. Next game I want to look at as we scroll down through the list of all the games for the day is the Denver Nuggets and the Oklahoma City Thunder. Denver comes in average down. They are 3-3 three three over their last six. While the Thunder are ice cold down, they have lost their last two and are 2-4 two and four over their last six games. The score prediction has uh, Denver 114, Oklahoma City 105, with about a toss of the coin 50.4% level of confidence. The power ranking indicator shows that Denver is at plus 19 at the moment, while Oklahoma City is at plus 4, both on a little bit of a downward trend. If you look at the, how they've been performing, according to the favorite underdog status at the volatility oscillator, you will see here that Oklahoma City has been more stable, more consistent in that regard at plus 13 compared to plus 4. If you look at the totals predictor, you can see that in the totals that Denver has been under the line in five out of the last six games. Oklahoma City in four straight games, just a very good chance to win some money betting the under. I like the under in this one, and I like Denver to win on the road. Chicago and Dallas. This could be a very exciting game here. Both teams are playing great basketball. You see the Bulls have won their last six, burning hot status. Dallas is burning hot as well, winners of five out of their last six. The score prediction even is thinking that this will be an excellent battle as well. Look at this. Dallas by a single point, 110 to 109, with a high level of confidence of 76%. The power rankings indicator shows both teams are up near the top. Chicago particularly at plus 29, and Dallas is heading that way as well. They were plus 15. They have skyrocketed to plus 22 just over the last few days. The consistency factor on the volatility oscillator, you can see that both teams have been performing very consistent. Dallas at plus 17, Chicago at plus 13. I like the Bulls on in the road. Upset, it will be a close game, up to about six points. It could even be an overtime contest. This will be a great game, but the Bulls will come out on top. And I think that under is the better play in this one. Cleveland and Golden State. Golden State enters as one of the top teams in the NBA. Their average status at the moment coming off of a loss and 4-2 and two over their last six. The Cavaliers are ice cold down coming off of a loss and they are 2-4 and four over their last six. The score prediction though has uh, Cleveland in a road upset by 117-112 to 112 margin, but uh, take that with a grain of salt because the confidence in prediction is only 31.6%. The power ranking indicator shows Golden State at plus 28 while Cleveland is at plus 19. If you're looking at the over and under, Cleveland has been in games over the line in five out of their last six contests, while Golden State has been over in four out of their last six. It's a good indication to bet the over. I don't think that Cleveland's going to upset. I like the Warriors to win at home 
covering the spread and again betting over the line. Sacramento and Portland. Here's a Western Conference battle between two teams that are really going nowhere. The Kings are three and three over the last six, but just one and three over the last four. Average down status, while Portland is dead status, they are just one and five over their last six games. Their only win was a five point win over um, Atlanta on January the third. The power ranking indicator shows. Eh, let's see, Sacramento at plus nine, Portland a little bit of an upward trend, even though they're dead status, but they are at plus eight. The totals predictor, if you're considering the uh, over and under, you can see here the last game here for Portland and for Sacramento. But in general, if you take a look at how they've been doing over and under, you can see that Portland has been in games over the line four out of their last six, and Sacramento three and three over the last six as far as over and under goes. I do not like the over and under in this one, so I would avoid betting that. But I do like Portland. Um, take a look at here, the consistency factor. Portland has been more consistent at plus 16 compared to plus 7. But most of the time, that is because they are underdogs. But I think they will be a road favorite. The line is not yet out, but I think they will be a home favorite. Excuse me, not a road favorite, a home favorite. And the score prediction has Portland by a single point. With only 46% level of confidence. But I do like Portland at home to win and cover the spread in this one. And that is it. Those are all the games for you for this week for the NBA. Happy betting and we will see you again next time.